14 only? What is that number called, actually, by the way? It's not a Google, no. Need to write lots of uh, lots of things for that. Google's 10 to the 100, right, or something like that? Uh, what is this? This would be millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, 300 quintillion. Quintillion, 300 quintillion. It's not very easy to think of things that are that much. Um, and then what would the next one be? Before we lose sight of this, you're all thinking about that. Uh, what? What's the next term? It's only to the third power. So how many do I need? Fifteen, right? Uh, is that it? Yeah. Um, before we said six compared to thirty thousand was insignificant. How many? How many? Des how many digits different is that? Thirty thousand and six is here, right? If you have thirty. If you were going to go buy a car and it cost 30000 and they said, oh, I'm sorry, there's it's actually 30006 you wouldn't say, oh, forget this, I'm leaving, that's no way, I'm not buying this car for that. Because $6 is not anything compared to that, right? If it was $3 and someone said, oh, actually, there's a $6 fee, so it's $9, that's significant. This is insignificant. This is really insignificant. This is, the more digits different there is between something, okay, <laughs> The more digits different there is between something, the less significant it is. This is four spots different here. How many spots different is this? Lots, right? Seven or eight or something like that? Actually, I actually have this article I want to read to you while we're talking about this. Not necessarily read the whole article, but... Uh, where is it here? It is from the New York Times. It's from... Uh, Last summer I was in New York and just by sheer coincidence this article happened to be in the paper. And it says, uh, buying a train ticket and being taken for a $23 quadrillion dollar ride. Um, this person uh, doesn't seem to like, doesn't seem like the kind of kid who would run up a $23 quadrillion dollar bill on her Visa Bucks card. She is a seemingly responsible sophomore at John Hopkins University, uh, interested in psychology and museum studies. Typical charges to her card include five twenty-six for pizza, twenty-one fifteen for flip-flops, and her sorority's Greek letters on them, and a dollar forty-seven for raspberry iced tea. This is all very exciting, isn't it? Her father got her the card when she was thirteen, so she could learn to be responsible at money. Blah blah blah. And yet, when Miss Alcock clicked on her account earlier this month, there it was. 20, 23 quadrillion, 148 trillion, 855 billion, 308 million, 184,500 dollar charge, plus a $20 negative balance fee from Wachovia <laughs> Bank, which under the circumstances seemed pretty reasonable. <laughs> but wait, it turns out it was not for a splurge and iPods, iTunes, iPhones, uh, Juicy Couture, or the... the <laughs> or the gross world product, but a single trade ride, off peak even, on Metro North Railroad from Grand Central to Golden's Bridge. The usual cost is ten dollars. <laughs> Ms. Alcock looked. She looked again. She gasped. She laughed. She shouted to her father, "Dad, you need to come here right now." <laughs> and after realizing to her chagrin that she owed us this staggering sum, not that she was the recipient of a tidy little windfall, she typed into Google. How to say really big numbers and cut and pasted that number. It read 23 quadrillion 100 and what I just said before. So it was some, I don't know, it goes on. It was some error or whatever that that number came up. That's 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 a pretty funny story, isn't it, though? I think <laughs> 23 quid. Like, the, I mean, that number is bigger than all the money in the world. It's not, I mean... It's hard to even come up with real things that are that size numbers, right? I, I took a train ride around the world. Like that's more than 
That's more than a lot of things, anyways. Uh, anyways. Now that we've gotten ourselves quite far off what we're talking about. Actually, though, I mean, it, it is it is exactly what we're talking about here that, like, numbers that big. If you take either of those functions, when you pick really big x values here, they're so far different. It's like 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? And then a 2, and then a whole bunch of zeros, and then another 3, and then a 5. Like, these are nothing compared to that. If you have $23 quadrillion, this number, whatever this is, this is like, what is that? That's... Uh, millions, billions, trillions, this is two trillion dollars, like two trillion dollars compared to whatever we said this was, 300 quintillion dollars, is nothing, right? Just like, um, it, it's all relative to the size of the amount you have, right? If you have, if you have twenty dollars, you're not going to be very happy to be giving away or losing six dollars, but if you have two hundred dollars, that's starting to be more reasonable. 2,000, 20,000. If you're up to 2 million, if you get upset about losing uh, $6, that's not, that's not the sig all that significant. If you wanted to keep the same significance, like $6 out of 20, you got to do this, right? Like, you know, if, if somebody says, well, it's reasonable for, you know, like if you think about how much money does, uh, I guess Bill Gates isn't the most rich person in the world anymore, but at one point I think he had six, 60, three more zeros, 60 billion. There was the economic downturn and probably that turned into probably 30 billion or something like that, so. You win some, you lose some, poor guy. Okay, what, what what's reasonable for you to if you gave to, you know, our Terry Fox thing, let's say you brought in $50. And you might have saved up in the bank. How much might you have saved up in the bank? The average grade 12. We did, yeah, I know. I, well, I'm not, I, I, I have nothing personal against Bill Gates. It's just he's an example everybody knows and he has lots of money and everything. It's nothing personal against him. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm just saying, well, it's some other guy now who, who I don't know who it is, though. That's the problem. I'll look up who it is, and I'll, I'll have a thing against somebody else. If you have, have $2,000 in the bank, well, let's go with the same digit here, 3000 so it relates to this, and you give 50 that's like uh, somebody who shall remain nameless who has uh, how many zeros here? Three, six, nine, right? Oh, I got one extra. No, that's like uh, that's like somebody else. I mean, that's like him having to give away that much, right? If you give away fifty out of fifty out of three thousand, that's like giving away um, five hundred million out of out of there, right? It's a lot of money, right? If Bill Gates says, "Oh, I gave a hundred dollars to this charity," that doesn't cut it with us, right? That doesn't mean anything. It's nothing. How much does he still have? He has roughly the same, right? This is nothing compared to that. Even a thousand, even, you know, like you got to start putting the number here and then we'll take notice, right? Yes, okay, if you gave a hundred million to charity, yes, that's good. We should all say that. And I recognize the fact that because the argument always is it doesn't matter what it's worth to him. It matters what it's worth to the charity he's giving it to and they're happy to get a hundred thousand or whatever. But, but if, when we start saying these people are good guys for giving their money away. It's got to get to a big number before it's significant to them, right? If he loses a hundred million, he still has roughly thirty billion. It's like if you have three hundred dollars and you lose one dollar, you still have three hundred dollars, right? Prices work like that. They never say something's three hundred; they say it's two ninety-nine because it's so close, anyways. That's what this. It's a psychological thing, I know. And this this is what this end behavior model thing is here. Now that I've filled it up with all this money talk here. I'll get rid of that. 